Hey guys, we'll hear with our friend Lynx. Hey guys. And today we're going to be doing our, I guess, yearly DC fandom overview review. Yes. So there was a, uh, a lot of topics that came up, but first let's do the uh, usual trivia question. All right. Besides kryptonite, name another weakness of Superman. Oh, magic. Yes, that is probably... A lot of people don't realize that, actually, that Superman is weak to magic. But even though he fights Shazam, he usually beats Shazam. Well, I mean, he's weak to, like, red sun radiation, but he still beats uh, Captain... Was it Captain Adam? That's not his name. Yeah. Yeah, I Captain know. Weird. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is Captain Adam. The guy that literally can create, like... Radiation. He's in, like, a yeah. scoop thing. He's also... Demon too. Yeah. I mean, he's a pretty cool character. He is. He's He should be overpowered. He's also weak to atomic radiation, red sun radiation, um... high pitch frequencies, um... Not sure what else. There's probably a few others. That's just the things I can think of. Well, but uh, we're just gonna, I guess, move on. I'm using like a uh, specific list of like everything that DC uh, released about what they did. So we'll just kind of go through it. I sent the link. Um. You. So, how do you want to do this? Do you want to just go in order? Yeah, we can just go in order of what, what they have on here. Okay. Um. Gosh, the thing I'm most excited about is first. Yeah. So, I mean, do you want to start off with it, then? Uh, sure. So, if you guys didn't know, I'm a big Marvel fan, but DC is really my thing. I mean, I really like Spider-Man. I think I've said that before. But I really, really like DC. So the thing I was most excited for, of course, I'm excited for like the Batman and stuff like that, is the Black Adam movie. Because the JSA was said to be in it and so will be in it. Antagonist, right? Well, yeah, to Black Adam, yeah, it yeah, wouldn't be the Black antagonist. Adam. Even though they're the good guys. Um... So, I'm very excited about that, because the JSA is um very freaking cool, in my opinion. I mean, you I'm going to uh, learn about Dr. Fate's existence. Yeah, Dr. Fate, Dr. Fate himself could just be in the movie, and I'd be excited. But you have Adam Smasher, Cyclone, I think there's Cyclone. Like, um, you I mean, know I don't who know Cyclone what... is? Yeah, yeah, I really? do. I don't know what Cyclone is basically roster though. Oh, you are using it, didn't you? Um, what did you say? Cyclone, from what I, as far as I can remember, is like related to Red Tornado. Yeah, he's like the precursor. I thought it was like, I don't know. I thought it was after. It doesn't matter. Is it after? I don't. I don't remember. Um, but I don't know which iteration or like what characters they're putting in their JSA though. I know, Dr. I know, and then Hawkman as well, which Hawkman is cool. I feel like Hawkman gets slept on. He a does. Lot. Which, um, if you're looking to buy these comics, it's impossible to find them. <laughs> because yeah. they were like, these are like the original characters. Like, more fun comics. Like, they came out early, early. Like, the Spectre... And stuff like that. So it's these are like forty thousand dollar comics. Um, gosh, let me just. I guess I don't have to go over every JSA member, but um, The Rock. Um, one thing that William brought up. Um. When I said, hey, I'm excited for the Black Adam movie, he's like, I don't know if The Rock will be able to pull off the character. Right. 
Yeah, I mean, the reason why I said that was because The Rock, in general, I would say is a very charismatic, likable person, which, I mean, you can definitely, I mean, that's good for getting people to like the main character of the movie, Black Adam. But Black Adam has always been like a stern, um, I, you know, I forgot what exactly I, words I used, but he's not very charismatic. He's more, like I said, stern and kind of aggressive yes um okay this is the words i used i went back to our text i said the black adam is intimidating and has a unyielding personality yes and i do agree with that um and i feel like that's an obstacle the movie may have to overcome but i'm kind of hoping because if you if you all know anything about like how long The Rock's been, like, talking about doing this movie. Like, I'm hoping he's, like, been prepared, like, been um, getting ready on the side, you know, stuff like that. Because I feel like this movie is going to be amazing. Um, I just fear it might be too funny. You mm -hmm. know? Shazam's a I, funny character, so, like, it fits with the kind of, like, like, with Shazam. But, like, Black Adam is, like, a... I mean, he's not funny. He's not a funny guy. Yeah, he's a very serious um, character. But I can see that this being one of the best superhero-esque movies ever made. I could also see this being a decent movie, right? Yeah. Um, ultimately, I, I do think it's going to be um, underhyped, for sure. Just because people don't understand the everything, like people don't understand Doctor Fate, you know what I mean? Yeah. But this is gonna get me into the idea of what DC should do, because I was thinking, you know, like DC. Um, I think DC rivals Marvel or beats Marvel on the when it comes to the magic in the universe. In my opinion, I just think DC's. Magic is way better. I mean, you have people like John Constantine, the Spectre, just, you know, really freaking cool characters. Yeah, like, very cool characters. Trigon, even, is sort of magic. Um, it's just, I feel like this movie could very much rival the Doctor Strange movies we're about to see. Because um, what Marvel's been setting up is more of a mystical sort of um, plot for the next um, why can't I think of the word? The oh, next um, the way, phase? The way Marvel did their magic was kind of weird. Because with Doctor Strange and Wanda it's more like powers than it is like magic. That is true. But um, also they delayed, uh, they did a bunch of delays for their movies in the next MCU. Like, they delayed the Ant-Man movie, uh, the Doctor Strange movie. Um, and they got pushed back farther. Yes, yeah, that is kind of crazy. Um, I don't know. The trailer made me feel awesome, even though it was, like, felt like 50 seconds i just was like so hype Do we know especially what the is... huh sorry i just cut you off continue the awesome question um and before that um i know you didn't really watch the panels i was watching the panels and the rock was talking about it i don't know if it was reused footage from last year or something but i was like man this looks awesome you know yeah but um oh. Oh, sorry, you weren't dead. I was gonna say, <laughs> what were you gonna say? Well, I was just gonna ask, do we know what the rating is? Like, I I could see this as being a very oh. violent movie, but like, I don't know if they're gonna go that extra step. They're probably just gonna do PG thirteen. I don't know, but the the trailer is freaking cool. I love how the skull disintegrated as it was rolling. I was like, oh my gosh, that's beautiful.
Yeah. Um, I think it would be best to be a PG-13 movie. Yeah. Because you don't want to... It's already kind of like... Not a lot of people are quote-unquote DC fans. Like, I guess... You don't want to exclude the others. Yeah, you don't want to exclude it like that. Just because, like... The only reason people are really Marvel fans is because the movies, you know? It's like, that's why I say quote-unquote DC fans or quote-unquote Marvel fans. Because, like, they're just the movie fans. They're not the... Yeah. Which isn't a bad thing. Like, I I love the... I love that I can talk to people about this stuff that, you know, and they can somewhat understand. But I just think it would be better not to do that. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to have Black Adam kill members of the JSA. <laughs> that would be very interesting. Like wipe them out. That would be tough because I could see... I don't know. The things... I, I see it. Cool. That could be quite possible. But, um... I'm really excited for the Adam Smasher scenes. Yeah. Because you know who Adam Smasher like grows in size and strength, right? Mm -hmm. And I feel like there could be some very cool shots with that just cinematically, especially if they did. um, I don't know if you were a big fan of the like, um, I kind of called the injustice style of um, filming that in Aquaman, you know, like on the last fight. Where they're on the boat, it looked very injustice esque. I feel like they could do that in style, and it would rock that way. But what what were you saying? Sorry. Well, I was gonna say uh, for Adam Smasher, the only really live action Adam Smasher I've seen was in the Flash TV show. They had um, Adam Smasher, but he was a villain. Really. Yeah. It's like huh. in two, I think. Like first episode. Or like second. He was like one of the first few episodes. I might have seen him then too. But um, oh, I think we should uh, move on from Senor Adam. Um, so the next thing on the list is the speaking of the Flash. We have, I guess, the season eight for the Flash, which I mean, I I kind of fell off watching like after, I want to say season five, which is actually pretty long because I think a lot of other people just jumped off way earlier, you know. Yeah, ECW I... shows usually are like good first two seasons, maybe a third season, and then they just kind of drive on. I stopped watching it as well, but the costume does look pretty cool. It does. It kind of, um, i going to be honest, I kind of like, I like the mask for this, for Grant Gustin's Flash better than the uh, mask for the, what was his name? Something Miller. Ezra Miller. Ezra Miller. Yeah, I like this mask better. I like the costume for the, like, Flash for his new movie but his, his helmet's always been kind of weird to me like he doesn't look right for some reason in my opinion yeah um I don't know um I think I like the the movie Flash costume more uh huh just because it's more like built, and this is just like, well, yeah, they have a lot more money. For yeah, it. but this one does look cool. I like um, the gold boots. I do as well. Um, sorry, give me one sec. No problem. All right. Um. I mean, is there really much for us to say on The Flash? I know, like, because we haven't been watching it, we can't really say much about it. So I guess we'll move on to probably another thing 
you're excited for? Yes. Um, if you all don't know, I love Aquaman. Aquaman's one of my favorite characters. I was a little like nervous to see the Aquaman movie because I was like, Jason Momoa doesn't look like Aquaman, in my opinion. But I really loved the Aquaman movie. I know it wasn't the best movie, but I really liked it. Um, so, we didn't actually see very much on this. Like, we saw some things, and I think it's going to be a cool movie, but um, I don't think we saw a lot at all. Yeah, I don't remember there being any like trailers or... I am a little, like... It's coming out... Oh, no, never mind. That says 2022. Yeah, it's 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 got, like, a year on it. So I'm sure next DC fandom, they'll have stuff, because it, it'll just be coming out, like, a few months after For that. For sure. Um, I guess the thing that really makes me nervous about this movie is... um. The fact that Amber Heard is in it still, like, I feel like yeah. a lot of people, like, I have a, f- a friend that's like, I'm not going to see the new Aquaman movie because I don't like Amber Heard, what she did to Johnny Depp. And I'm like, that's fair, but, like, I'm just afraid that no one's going to go see it, you know, because of that situation. Yeah, I mean, I feel bad that the movie is in that situation. I personally I do too. Really don't like Amber Heard. Um, I mean, nor do I. I feel like if they had just switched out her actor, there'd be really no fuss about it. Like, a lot of people wanted um, Amelia Clark to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, the girl from I don't know about that, though. There was... um, That might have worked, but... (sighs) That would be tough. I don't know about, like, how she would do for the acting part, but there's people that did, like, uh, custom photos of like if it was her wearing the outfit and having and she looks a lot like Mira you know mm-hmm. I, mean, I mean I can see a good actor but like just that's really crappy because Johnny Depp's not getting any of his stuff back so yeah which that's a whole nother situation that comes down to money because like the Pirates movies Disney doesn't Disney's just done with that stuff they don't want to pay money so they're like oh my gosh we're yeah, just gonna I leave mean, it like Johnny this. Depp is too expensive to hire Ford, so now they're just like moving. They're making parts of Caribbean movies still, but they're just not having Captain Jack Sparrow. Uh, I'm not seeing the new Pirates movies if that's gonna happen. I love them, but I think Margot Robbie's the main character. I mean, I that's cool and all, but it's, if they don't have Jack Sparrow, I don't really see a point. You know? Yeah, it's not a Pirates movie. Yeah, that's what I think at least, but. It's a pirate movie, not a pirates movie. I mean, I might see it after it comes out, but I'm not gonna like pay money for it, you know. For sure. Um, this was cool. You didn't see this part. Um, this was just kind of in the middle. I had no clue they were doing this. Um, the milestone media. Mm-hmm. And basically, milestone is like a program. Um where a bunch of um, African-American or black creators were like, hey, I feel like we're underrepresented, and they created characters. And basically, they talked about um, what they're doing in the future. Like, um, the one I'm most familiar with is Static, of course. Um, I've heard of all of them, but Static is probably my favorite. And um, I think they talked about having a static movie, or I think it's like comics for the most part. Yeah, I'm just pretty sure, but I think the only one I around a movie. haven't heard of is hardware. Give me one second. Like, I know who Static is, I know who Icon is, I know who Rocket is. I don't know who Hardware is. Yes, so, um... 
I don't know why. Um, Michael B. Jordan um, will be producing the Static Shock movie. I mean, I think Static Shock's a really cool hero. I think he's kind of, uh, from my impression, he's like in compare, when you compare Static Shock to other superheroes, he's kind of weak. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, um, I mean, there's no way he would beat Superman or, or really any well, casting member. Yeah, for sure. But I think it's, he's pretty cool. Like, I mean, he's cool though. Yeah, for sure. I used to watch the, uh, t- his TV show when I was younger. Yeah, dang. So, um, and Icon and Rocket are in the Young Justice TV show. Really? Which season? Yeah, I, oh, well, Rocket and Icon show up, like, near the end of the first season, and then they're there for, like, the whole rest of the thing. They're not going to, like... Why don't I remember that? They show up. They look different than they do in these pictures, though. Um... I need to rewatch Young Justice because I remember really liking that show, but I just yeah, season four for it started. Uh, oh yes! I'm oh my god! Up to it. it's interesting, but I uh, you, you still haven't seen season three for it. No, I have not. Okay, I remember Icon and Rocket now. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm. I like these heroes, except I don't know who Hardware is. I probably do. I just don't remember him. Um, but I like these characters, so I'm all for it. Yeah, which is it's pretty cool that like. I mean, there is like. I would say there's probably uh, underrepresentations of like different cultures in comics, you know. Yeah. Um. Just because, like, when thinking of like superheroes, like I mainly think of like white superheroes. You know what I mean? Well, I mean that may be it because you, you know, identify yourself with those characters. You That's know? possible, but I also think it's because of the number of them as well. Yeah, I mean, there's there's not as many uh, African. American or like other like uh, when you think of like yeah like because you're um Hispanic like when you think of like Hispanic characters what comes to mind like I mean Blue Beetle for sure yeah um you know I I think of I mean really it's really is just like Blue Beetle I think of Bane as well well Bane's not a superhero. <laughs> well, yeah, but like just characters. Oh, characters? Yeah, I mean, Bane's definitely there. Um, um the like, n- not DC, Miles Morales. Miles Morales, uh, I don't. I mean, he's half Puerto Rican, half African American. So, like, yeah. a lot of the time, like, I mean, he's both, definitely both. But I never, he doesn't like register in my mind for some reason. But yeah, I would count him too. Oh, uh, Miguel O'Hara. Why is that uh, not coming? That's, that's the 2033 or the 20. Oh, that, that, yes, 2099. 2099. That's what that's, it is. The new I really Ghost like Rider. This. Right. And but, um, maybe I'm wrong about this. The one Green Lantern guy, what's his name? Kyle oh, Rayner. Oh, Kyle Rayner? Reiner? I Rainer. think he's Hispanic. I don't know. When I hear Rayner, I think of German. So I don't know. Yeah, you might be right. Maybe he's not. But, like, I'm just, like, mentioning that because, like, you know... When you do think about it, it does seem kind of like, huh, there's not that many characters, you know? I would say for for sure that when you 
your ass to think of a white superhero. You can definitely, oh, there's tons. Even yeah. I, you know, if you ask me about, like, black superheroes, I can think of a ton, but not as much. But then, like, when you get to Latino, I'm like, oh, gosh, there's, like, five I can think of on the top of my head. And yeah, and I can use even less Native American or Asian, you know, for sure. Like, that's just what I'm like saying. Like, so I think this is good that like it is devoted, but I also don't like that it's like a separate thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, because it's kind of like, hey. Like, the character shouldn't be separate to have to shine, you know? It could be together. Like, for example, in Young Justice, Blue Beetle is one of my favorite characters. But my favorite character is Wally West. Um, and it's yeah, like... He's, uh, Blue he's ginger. So he's, he's different. <laughs> yeah. Just... But, um, that's just... Is this just for like african-american or, or black or is it for like other i think it's just that okay you know i feel like you know there are uh not as many african-american superheroes as white but there's actually quite a few when you think about it yeah i agree at, at um, least compared to like other ones you know which I think it'd be cool if we got to a place where, like, not that the backstory of characters matter very much, but, like, it'd be nice to see some, like, Irish characters, some Italian characters, you know, like. Yeah. It's just, I don't know, not that it's important at all, it's just, you can relate to them a little bit more. Yeah. Um, Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. Still looks I, okay. I watched the trailer for it, so it looks, yeah, it looks okay. But like, I don't know if I would get it. I don't think I would buy I it guess, either. Is it is it Brainiac controlling them? It seems that way, doesn't it? Because at first like I thought the... it was Starro last year. Yeah, I think it's just Brainiac. But, um, oh, sorry, I was yawning. Um, it, I mean, the lineup of the hero, there's only four of them, which is kind of like, I mean, they're, they're pretty solid characters, but like only four of them in a suicide game where they have to kill the Justice League. Seems For sure, I'd love to see Deathstroke, like. Yeah. But I don't think that's gonna happen. Well, I don't really uh, have much to say about the Suicide Squad game. I'm not really gonna get it unless it's like really good. I don't even know really how it's gonna play. It's made by the people that do uh, GTA and uh, what? <laughs> yeah, Rocksteady, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do GTA. They do and Justice as well. Western game. Yeah, they do, but like, I'm comparing it more to those games. Yeah, than for sure. Injustice, because Injustice is a fighting game. You know, it's pretty different to what they're used to doing. And um, I'm pretty sure it's Brainiac because they have the same like design. They and you see Brainiac shit as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna let you talk about this next topic because I know you're kind of you kind of mentioned it. It is the age of wrestlers in DC, man. It's it's happening. But um, so I really am excited for Peacekeeper. Um, Lincoln oh. hasn't seen. Ooh. Lincoln has not seen. Ooh. I'm just thinking. Suicide keep saying, <laughs> has not seen the Peacekeeper the movie. Peacekeeper. I said Peacemaker. Okay, I thought you said Peacekeeper. Peacekeeper is not Peacemaker, man. Come on. Okay. Now. That's what I was saying. You can't. You can't. He, he's there to make the peace, not to keep it. Okay. 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 But um, Lincoln has not seen 
the Suicide Squad movie. Don't call me out the like newer that. one. Just because I don't have HBO Max. I mean, you could have seen the movie theater. I don't know. There are other Gotta call me out like ways. That. But, um, I mean, it, it was a pretty good movie. I feel like if you're not a comic fan, you're going to say it's a, uh, it's a decent movie. But otherwise, I think it's pretty good for the comics fans out there. Um, Peacekeeper was a pretty cool character from it. Uh, you said Peacekeeper. A... You said Peacekeeper. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, well, Peacemaker. Sorry, I keep thinking of Peacekeeper gun from, from uh, Cod Black Ops 2. But anyways, Peacemaker. Peacemaker is a really cool character. Uh, John Cena definitely plays him well, I would say. It's more of a funny thing, but he's he done some dope things in the movie. In the movie, and the trailer looks like it's a lot of fun. So... I'm pretty psyched for it. it. Comes out January 13th, 2022. So that's like four or five months from now. I'm definitely going to be watching it. That's going to be funny. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. I mean, I John don't have Cena's much to here. say. I haven't seen Suicide Squad, but. Well, let me, let me tell you this. I don't know if you've seen a lot of John Cena's movies, but this is definitely the best betrayal John Cena's ever done. Really? <laughs> yeah. Are we gonna get a movie where John Cena fights The Rock? Uh if Peacemaker ever runs and excuse me, runs into Black Adam. But yeah. Black Adam would just destroy Peacemaker. That's true. <laughs> um I guess we'll move on if you don't have anything to say about Peacemaker. Alright, do you mind if I talk about this? Uh sure. This was the big, biggest letdown, in my opinion, or the biggest, like, this was the worst thing in this, the Superman. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not a big person for, like, like, I like Superman, and I, Superman's one of the biggest characters, of course, but, like, what really, really aggravated me was they changed, one of, like, Superman's iconic things is truth justice in the american way yeah and they changed the truth justice in a better tomorrow and that just really pissed me off a little bit because i'm like like not that i know there's a very big trend of like hey america sucks like and you can have that opinion right but like it's something that's ingrained with the character yes yeah, superman is an american character right People look up to it's Superman, old. they think of America, they think of Superman himself represents hope. And so the American way, as I see it, is hope. Hope for a better tomorrow, hope for a better future. Hope that you can make your situation better through maybe hard work, maybe luck, maybe multiple things, right? But hope isn't Hope creates a better tomorrow, but hope is the American way, in my opinion. Of course, people could say it's hard work. It means something different to everybody. That's why I think it's so special, you know? And I really, really think this is stupid that they did this. Like, I know I'm going to go on a little bit of a rant, and I'm sorry about this, but like, you know, I don't think it matters. America is still like one of the I mean, I still think America is the greatest country we have right now, right? Um, we not might not have the best schooling system, we might not do that, but we lead in many areas and we are something people look up to for our freedom, for our whatever, and Superman is the symbol of that. I mean, it's like... And we have a lot of opportunities for all types of people, from like any race, creed, religion. You can come here and you can yeah. work your way to a better future. For sure. And I... Better tomorrow. Ho, 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 ho. You know what? I don't want to hear it. But, um, <laughs> you know, especially when talking about the milestone media stuff like that, when you're talking about cultures and stuff, like Superman isn't from here. 
Superman is from somewhere else, but he was brought into brought into like um, a place and raised as an American. It doesn't matter where he was from. It just matters what he became. And it's a great story that represents American ideals. Like, it doesn't matter where you're from. You can become something great. And that's why he represents the American way. And I'm just really, really disappointed that DC did this. Like, I don't know. That that really shows, like, a, a shift well, I mean, in my opinion. A, a uh, kind of... Right now, a lot of people in America are having an attitude where they hate on America. He kind of touched on that a bit. Um, it's just one of those things where it's like people, like they, they do, like it's it's a thing you can do. You can criticize America all you want because you're mm-hmm. in America. You can do that, you know. But they don't understand how much good. America does. There is bad things that America has done in the past and things that we have internally going. Yes, uh, of course. I mean, America is still America. We have mm-hmm. a lot of opportunities here, a lot of things you can do here that you can't do in countries where you will. I mean, you can, examples, you can practice whatever religion you want here. You can't do that in a lot of the parts of the world. You can love who you want to love here. You can't do that in a yeah. lot of places the world i mean and, you can criticize your government can't do that in a lot of places in the world yeah and i just feel like this is a very big turning point like i don't know like i'm not i i definitely think there's some things wrong with the systems of course like i'm not one of those people that's like oh no america's perfect like go america you know, like, we're just the best country ever exists and we do everything perfect. No, it's not like that. It's like, we do have flaws, right? But, like, this just shows a very big cultural shift to me because, like, you know, it's like saying, like, oh, you know when Captain America punched Hitler? Oh, we're just going to take that away. We're taking away something that's core to the character. Like, this character is made to like represent America and power the American people get American people excited. Like, you know? Yeah. And that's a big thing with comic books. Comic books reflect the society at the time. And I don't know if this is very represent, like this represents society really. Like I still say the majority of people like believe in the American way. Like I I'd like to believe that. Um, even though there's flaws, but like, this is just, this really like made me upset when I heard this. I was like, huh? Yeah. Because like, he's the first superhero and he represented, uh, America, you know, and they took that away. Yeah, it just really feels like they're stripping a character of what he, what the character is. Well, like what's I mean? It's like changing. Color. In my opinion, it's like changing his colors. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, like making him wear like a green. Uh, like what? Yeah. Like that just takes something away from the character that you have already. Like something that's core to the character. Changing his symbol on his chest. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just... I think this is a really big mistake, and... You know, like... If anything was to change from this, I I really hope that they'd change truth justice in an American way. And the American way back, like, that's just... Which it probably won't happen, but... I don't know if you're watching this video and feel the same way about that. Like, maybe we can do something, but I doubt it. But yeah. I don't know. I, that was just a really big deal to me. I mean, I get it. 
Um, on a lighter note, we have DC's League of Super Pets. I yeah. forgot to watch the trailer. Was it good? Um, so Kevin Hart's in it, and so is The Rock. I feel like it's going to be okay. Rock it's not going to be good. Mm-hmm. We got Ace the Bad Hound. Crypto. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's like those, that old crypto TV show. It's like Crypto Super Dog. You remember that? I haven't seen that. Oh. Well, in it, I don't know. I haven't seen the uh, trailer for this Super Pets thing. But basically, it was just from the perspective of the uh, Justice League's animals, basically. But like, it was mostly just about crypto doing stuff. Um, Ace the Bad Hound would show up occasionally. The Flash had a cat for some reason. So, like, it was the Flash's cat would show up. Then That's pretty funny. And stuff. It's pretty good. Um, is Kevin? Hart I feel like it may be good, good, but I don't know. Yes, he's Ace. I don't okay. like Ace's design, though. What does he look like? Let me look this like... Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it will be okay. Not anything, like, amazing. Yeah. But, um, I mean, it, it's going to be, like, just one of those funny things. So, I mean, I mean, I'm sure it'll be, it'll be fine, you know. Now we have the, uh, Doom Patrol. I haven't watched the series yet. I haven't um, either. I guess it's was it's like funny. I've heard good things about it. I've heard good things about it. Yeah. Brendan Fraser is in it. It's kind of weird. Plays robot man. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, but I might say about Doom Patrol. There's not much I can say either. It looks good, though. Yeah, it's already on its third season. Sorry, the trailer started playing on my phone. <laughs> um, oh, now we get to something that you're probably pretty hyped about. You think so? I think I think so. Because of the way you were describing the outfit, just the outfits alone get you pumped. Oh, no, um, the outfit looks amazing in this trailer. It really so, does. So, uh, this is just Flashpoint. Yeah. I'm not um, too excited for this, to be honest. I don't like Ezra Miller Flash. I guess there's other Flashes in this movie. Hopefully they'll the replace Ezra thing. Miller. I really hope they will. Um... And I guess there's going to be which era of Batman is the Flash visiting? Um, what version of the Batmobile will he uncover? I think it's Mike, Michael Keaton. Really? Yeah. That'd be interesting. But like, is he going to be like Bruce Wayne or is he going to be Thomas Wayne? I have no clue. Because if they could go through Flashpoint, it would be Thomas Wayne. But, I mean, I'll let them do their own thing. Reverse Flash is probably going to be in it. Like, What'd you say? Reverse Flash, Reverse Flash I'm assuming, is going to be in it. Yeah, I assume so, too. Because he's, like, pivotal to the plot, but... I don't I know. Mean, we'll see what they do. The His reason for going in this... Um, timeline, I guess I'm going to say. In this movie universe, I mean, I don't know. They have to, like, actually go into depth into the character's backstory for this because otherwise you don't really see a good reason for him doing it. Um, we don't know anything about this Flash besides he saved Iris that one time. I'm okay with not knowing anything about this Flash, to be honest. Well, I know you don't like him. 
But I mean, it doesn't make sense for like him to just be like in the beginning of the movie, I don't like my life. Yep, you know, that's why we should replace life. him. That's why we should get a different Flash. Yeah. Okay. No, I just don't like Ezra Miller as Barry Allen. Okay, so it is reading this thing. Um, Miller is Barry Allen working alongside an alternate world version of himself. So there's going to be another Barry Allen in there. I wish they would just put a Jay Garrick. Yeah, I mean, Jay Garrick's cool. But I don't know how he would be on the big screen. That's true. I just feel like he'd be very cool. Um, so this movie looks awesome, right? I'm just not a big fan of Ezra Miller Flash. Yeah. Because, like, I feel like Ezra Miller, I have not liked him in Fantastic Beasts somewhere to find him. He's just too arrogant of a person and, like, not trying to be mean or anything. But he's one of those people, I feel like he plays the same character in every role. Which is him himself, which I don't really care for. Mm-hmm. Um, I've criticized Chris Hemsworth for the same thing, though I think Chris Hemsworth is better at it. Yeah, because Chris Hemsworth is a more likable person. Um, definitely more charismatic. Yes. Yeah, so, um, the next and, day. Um, sorry. Oh, or did you have more? I'm going to gonna finish that off. Yeah, go ahead and finish that off. I would love to be proved wrong. Do I think I'm going to be proved wrong? Probably not. Just because I'm very, like, staunch in my opinion, like, stuck in my ideas. I'm very stubborn. Yeah, I mean, my opinion on the movie, um, I think it's going to be interesting seeing Flashpoint, uh, depending on how they do it, though the characters the flash was a lot better in the snyder cut like a lot lot better i actually kind of liked him in the Snyder maybe cut. i'll have to maybe i'll have to watch that in my opinion will change but um if it's the snyder cut flash then um it'll just be better because okay let me tell you something spoilers i'm spoiling something for you here we go. Okay. You may know this. Spoilers for anyone who hasn't seen the Snyder Cut. So in the original movie of Justice League, the Flash the whole time in the final battle is just pushing tr- a truck out of the blast radius, right? hmm In the Snyder Cut, he actually goes back in time. What? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So, like, basically, they lose in the Slender Cut. And so he goes back, like, just before they lose to save the day. Oh, that's so it awesome, shows. Actually. So it shows that he can travel back in time, right? Mm. It shows that he's done it before. And, I mean, it was a cool scene. I mean, they just, that movie, the Batman, I didn't really like the Batman before too much. But now I really like the Batman. I mean, just all the characters were better in the Snyder Cut. I'll have to watch you then. Yeah, I mean, it's it's dope. But, um... Yeah, that's my opinion. If it's the Flash from Snyder Cut, I like it. If it's not, if it's from the original version, I'm not gonna like it. So. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. To Sandman. I know nothing about this. I don't even really know. I don't know much about Sandman either. So it's Lucifer Morningstar. Mm -hmm. Which, if you didn't know, Lucifer is a big DC character, actually. Yeah. I think, actually, the Lucifer TV show is connected to... It is. Um, I remember one episode of uh, Legends of Tomorrow... They actually go meet up with Lucifer for like a second. So, but, um, 
I don't know anything about this. I probably won't watch it. I Most probably likely. won't either. I think there's a reason why I, I know. Won't. I know a lot of people like Sandman. Well, Sandman, this is. Is this the. You see, there's two Sandman, right? There's like the JSA one, right? Then there's another one that I don't know anything about. Like, you know the Sandman I'm talking about where he has like a gas mask? Yeah, I thought that was like. Yeah. That's the Sandman yeah, I, I know about. Know I don't really know about. much about this one. Um. Yeah, but I think this one is pretty popular. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It could be very cool. Could I don't be. know if I'm gonna watch it. Oh, Maybe man. if I'm really, really bored, but I doubt it. So, I'm gonna talk about the next thing more. I'm gonna start this off. So this no, movie. Why? Why do you get to start this off? Because I know more about it than you. I'm pretty sure. You know more about this than I do. The how bad the movie was. Oh, okay, okay, fair. Yeah, that's right. I didn't see the movie, but I saw clips from it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, let me just go into this right now. Trash, disgusting. They ruined the story. I heard it was pretty bad. They killed the Flash. Spoilers, 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 spoilers. spoilers. So, killed the Flash. Stupid way he dies from Scarecrow. Um, let me think here. And um, they basically replaced conversations. Uh, from the comics with just one character, Mr. Terrific. Um, it's just a bad movie. It's a bad movie. Bad movie. Um, they didn't follow the comics really well. Yeah, my concern is not the movie. My concern is that we didn't get an Injustice 3 announcement. I see. I'm just beginning to think it will never happen. And I'm kind of disappointed about it. Yeah. Maybe I'm just going to have to start playing MK. Hey, you might. Yeah. I don't know. Not going to lie. Besides the Superman thing, I was pretty disappointed about this. It's probably second on my list. Which that's saying a lot about the Superman thing if this is second on my list. Um... Yeah, if you don't know me, I love Injustice. And I, I'm just really sad. <laughs> that there was an A in Justice 3, not some. Yeah, basically I just cried myself to sleep that night because of it. It's tough. It's tough. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, No, I'm very disappointed, but hey. You can't do anything about it. Well... I think there's still a lot of things to talk about, so I think we need to like start yeah, for sure. through these a bit. Um, Blue Beetle, I'm very excited for it. Um, I think the actor who's playing Blue Beetle, I forgot what his name was exactly, but I feel like he oozes the energy that Blue Beetle has. You know, you haven't seen Cobra Kai, have you? I have not, but I'm gonna He's watch very it good in Cobra probably. Kai. He's like. Uh, He's like the main kid. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm ready for this. I am too. Hopefully a good movie. I hope. I uh, I hope so too. I think it would be good. Um I don't know if they're gonna make the villain, but I think they might be still thinking about that. I don't know though. Or maybe they already have it. It's just we wouldn't know. Um I think we have to wait till next year to really see yeah. what Blue Beetle is going to be like, but I think it's going to be good. Yeah, we'll just have to wait. So, uh, next thing, I guess, is a new comic. Print. Have no clue. Have no desire to read it. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a fun time, I guess, but not not too interesting. Yeah. Next thing, Gotham Knights. Quarter Owl is confirmed. Freaking cool. I'm probably going to get this game. 
I'm probably going to wait to see if it's a good game. And then I'll see. That's probably what I need to do. Because last time I was like, okay, I'm going to get the Avengers game. You're like, I don't think it's going to be that good. I was like, well, I'm just going to get it. I spent like 90 bucks on that game and it kind of sucks. No, it really sucks. But I feel like this is going to be different. I feel like it's going to be like Arkham. Um, It probably is. It feels like that play stuff. And the talents, like, talk about giving me chills. Like, that was freaking cool. It was really cool. It was like, a good this, I would love to see a live action Talon movie. Or, sorry, Court of Owls. Um, gosh, that. And if they made it a horror movie, that would be freaking awesome. Like, I don't know. I'm just. I'm excited. I am too. So um, the next thing, Batwoman. I mean, I don't think either of us like this show, and I haven't seen does it. the rest of the world because <laughs> um, the ratings for it have been terrible. It drops a lot over its running. It's bad. It's just it's going down. Um, okay, fair enough. Next thing, I'm kind of hyped about this. So it's really Catwoman Hunted. I'm hyped about it because the way they animated it, it's anime esque. Yes, I was gonna say that. So they did that on purpose, I'm pretty sure. Um I mean it looks it looks pretty cool. Catwoman you know, has a tail, that's what threw me off. That did. I think it's just part of her costume though. I know, it just like threw me off. I was like, what the heck? Yeah. Um, I think a lot of people sometimes might be weirded out with her, I mean, with the animation style, but I think it's going to be appealing for the movie because it's more of a fun movie kind of thing. So. Yeah. Um, that, I agree. That does look good. I don't know if I'm going to watch it though. Yeah, fair. Um, I don't know if I'm going to watch it either. I'm just happy that it's... Because I think it's going to be on HBO Max, which I don't have. Mm. Um, I hated this show, so I never watched it. DC Legends of Tomorrow? Yes, so I, I don't have anything to say on it. I watched, like, first four seasons, I think. Um, Constantine's in it. Okay, that's because... freaking awesome. Yeah, so like he joined, I think, like season four. They deal with magic a lot, actually. Like, a lot of what they deal with is magic. Like, a lot of magic. Time travel and magic. A lot of that stuff. Next thing. I don't know what this is. I have no clue either. Um... Let's just do a quick read and see here. Original Native Podcast. So it's a, it's a podcast, I guess. But for Batman fans. You can listen to it on Spotify. I mean, depending on who their guests are, I'd be interested in listening to it, maybe. Yeah. It just depends on like who, they're, who they have for that day. Yeah, but think, speaking about podca- podcasts, if you're thinking about um, listening to one, I think you should definitely listen to Will and Link Chat. Just saying. Oh, yeah, the thing um, you're listening to right now. Yeah, like, I think it's pretty good. Maybe you disagree, but I think you should still listen to it. I think we're having a fun time here, and it's even funner if people are actually listening. It's Isn't even that's funner. Funny? William said funner. it's even funner. Hey, man, one of my biggest um, videos on my channel, a single one, is is misspelled. And it's kind of like a meme. But um, the next thing, Batgirl. What is this? This is about like a movie? Did they announce? What? I guess there's... Oh, I have no clue. I guess there's going to be like a Batgirl film. I was kind of like doing homework while watching DC fandom. So a lot of this minor stuff, I kind of just was like, huh. So but once I heard like other stuff, I was like, okay. Um, yeah, so uh, she 
is gonna it's confirmed. She's gonna oh, have this a, is full a movie. Power and a red hair. Yeah, it's a movie. Yeah, I remember this now. Um, I don't know if they got the right actor to be honest. Uh, who's the actor? I have no clue. Um, she was in that one freaking musical. Um, High School Musical. No, by the Lin Manuel. Oh, um, you mean like the In the Heights? Yeah, yeah, yeah the movie. I think it's. I uh, her name is Nina Rosario or something. I don't think she looks like Barbara Gordon, but yeah, I don't know about that. But um. Oh, to this girl. What the heck? Yeah. Leslie Grace. Oh, that's her that name? That does not seem right. Yeah, that's... Nina was her, was her character's name. Oh, sure. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, that's... I don't like that. Yeah, not too hype about that, but you never well, know. You know what? They made Gordon black and the new uh, Batman... What we can get a a Latin a Latino Gordon that works right? Oh yeah. Um. Wait a minute. That's confusing them. Because which? Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna think too much about well, it. We don't know what line. Jackie Simmons Gordon. It's not. It's just a whole different Gordon, I guess. A whole different thing. Um, okay. Moving on. Titans. Um, and Titans kind of want to watch it because I'm a big Nightwing fan. But kind of watch it too. I have the ability to watch it, but I never really got on it. I probably will at some point. Blackfire uh, Chang- is in it, I guess. Oh, really? Yeah. Changeling is in it. There's or a lot Beast of characters Boy. in it, actually. There's a lot of characters. Superboy's in it. Hey, not, mean, to flex on, not to flex on everybody, but I have New Teen Titans number two. Dang. Um, not to flex. I'm just kidding. Um, no, I'm a I'm a pretty big fan of the Teen Titans, but mainly I like Nightwing. And I also like Deathstroke. That's why I have that particular comic. Um, but I am going to say, if you've not read Teen, the new Teen Titans or like looked into it, it's pretty cool. Um, and also, just saying this, new Teen Titans number five, you can pick up for like twelve bucks maybe, and it's the first appearance of Trigon. So, if you're not very in the comics, like, hey. It's twelve bucks for first appearance. Like, doesn't get much better than that. Yeah. The next thing is toys. Oh my gosh, William! Did you see some of the? Like, I'm not a big collector for this stuff, but like, did you see some of the statues? I did not. Look up the Todd McFarlane Batman. The Batman statue. Okay. Oh, boy. Maybe. Maybe it's not. It's not the one he came out with. It's like his design. It's, um. There was one for, like, the Batman that they showed off, and I was like, that's freaking awesome. Like. Oh, I see it. Yeah, yeah, I see it. That's really cool. Um. Yeah. Which. I probably won't get it, but if you're big into collecting stuff, I don't know how. I don't know the quality of Todd McFarlane's w- work with figures, but whatever, um, or whatever. But I know he's a very renowned comic book artist, so I can't imagine it being that bad. Yeah. Um, well, the next thing, I'm interested in Phantoms. We talked about it a little bit when we talked about Icon. And Rocket, 
but um, Phantoms is the newest one. I think Young Justice is a good TV show. It's gotten a little darker since you last saw it. I would say. Why is Miss Martian white? So she's a white Martian. Oh, why did I think she was green? Because she disguised herself as green in the first like two seasons, for the most part. Okay. And then she like sometimes. And I, already, form and, stuff. and I only saw the first two seasons, so. Yeah, I mean, she. I mean, you knew that she was a white Martian, though, but it's probably just been a while. I did, but I. I always just remember her being green. But yeah, it's because she made herself green. This season, okay. I and third season, she kind of just like leaves her skin like that, unless she's like out in public. Kind of that makes sense. Yeah. So, okay. Um. Next thing is DMZ. I don't know what this is. Have no clue. Have no clue what this next thing is. Naomi. Yeah, I don't know what that um, is. I guess we can just skip the. I mean, it's cool well, if you if you like these like indie series. I I guess they're not in. Uh, maybe they are, like these series by like DC. Because of course DC is not just like entirely superheroes. There's different comics, right? Um, but I personally am not too big into it, so we're just gonna brush over it. Yeah. Um, the next thing is Shazam: The Fury of God. We didn't see much about it, but um, I love Zachary Levi, and I think this will be a good movie. Yeah, it doesn't come out for like two years though. So that that sucks. I know. It, well, I really thought like Black Adam would be in the next Shazam movie, but oh well. I mean, he could be because. Black Adam is going to have his movie two years. I mean, like a year at least before it. So they could probably That's get him true. in for some filming. Um, All right, thing. so I guess we're going to talk about this. What has Wonder Woman done for your life, William? Um, I've always liked Wonder Woman as a character. I've always, like uh, growing up, my mom was a big fan of Wonder Woman. So I always appreciated her character. Plus, when you think of like in DC, in my mind, I have the picture of, you know, Superman sitting next to Batman sitting next to Wonder Woman. It's the big three. Yeah. You know? Like, Which, um, yeah. Yeah, you know, they're the big, the big three in DC. And I mean, literally, Wonder Woman stands amongst them as like, I mean, she's powerful, you know? Mm hmm. You know, I... She's a good character. I totally agree. I think it's awesome that, like, you know, when talking about, you know, the Mind of Stone, Stone Comics, um, it's awesome that, like, Wonder Woman is such a profound character within um, her universe because, like, you know, it's just really cool because, like, in Marvel, I don't, not a lot of people come to mind when, actually, I disagree. There's a lot of female superheroes, but, like, not as 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 in, iconic as Wonder Woman. That's yeah. Um, it was like maybe Jean Grey, maybe Jean Grey. I don't know. But, maybe um, like ten years ago, not now. Yeah, agreed. Um. Yeah, and I guess we can transition into. Uh, the next Wonder Woman movie that's confirmed, Wonder Woman 3. How are you feeling about that? So, love the first Wonder Woman. Now, I told you when we talked about the director. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. I, I told you that I would have to see what she did with Wonder Woman 2. I was kind of like hesitant a little bit shaky on it because I was like I don't know what she's gonna do and then she flopped terrible awful yeah, that was that was a terrible movie um and it really like Gal Gadot 
does a great job as Wonder Woman, but it ruined her character. Turned Wonder Woman into a rapist. Like, I don't know. That's, oh my gosh. That's not... That's yeah, that was kind of rude. Um, just destroyed a character. Gosh. Yeah, no. I'm not... Honestly, I'm not that excited for Wonder Woman 3. I love... Love the first one. One of my favorite superhero movies, but... Like, if it's like anything like the second one, I'm not going to like it. Wait, so the, um, I hope, I hope they introduce more characters from the Wonder Woman mythos, at least. Like, they just have a bunch of random Amazons in the background, for the most part. Yeah. Like, you see more from the Amazons in the Snyder Cut than you do from one woman. Like, the Amazons are doing some cool stuff in the Snyder Cut. Actually, um, but I mean, I I hope they bring in Donna Troy and Wonder Girl. That'd be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I don't know how that would come across because it has no build up at all, especially from that crappy second movie. Like I, they didn't build anything off of that movie. As far as I'm concerned, it just breaks all the lore of the movie. Of like, yeah, it things. was. It was pretty bad. Um, I don't know. It can be good. It's just I'm not. It doesn't look like it's going to be based on the last one. And you were right, William. William is usually right. Okay, so I guess we're going to speed up past these. Past Sweet Tooth. Past that mm -hmm. Wonder Woman comic. Uh, Pennyworth, mm -hmm. I knew that this was a show. What well, no, sorry, no, it is going to be debuting. I heard about it. Or wait, no. It has been a thing already. I just haven't watched it, I guess. It's weird. I don't remember hearing anything about it, but I probably did. I knew it existed, but I didn't know very much about it at all. Um, next thing, Batman. The Batman. Yes, this is the thing we've all been waiting for. Um, this is the last thing. So we can take our time on this one. In your opinion, what, what did you think about it? So, I think you and I had like the same opinion after the first trailer. Where it was like, oh, this is cool. This is good. But, I'm just saying this trailer had some cool scenes. I like the casting for Catwoman. Um, it made me question more of Robert Pattinson as Batman. Seeing some scenes of him, of him actually being Batman. Um, punches that glass and says something that's inaudible. No one knows what he's saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally, was, I was, I was with it. The subtitles and I was like, oh my gosh, the subtitles don't even know. <laughs> I you see. I was with the trailer, right? And then all yeah. of a sudden, it had that one scene. It just broke it. It broke it for me. It took me <laughs> out of the immersion. Like I was like, I don't know what he said. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, this looks good. This is interesting. Oh, I see. That's the Riddler. Oh, that must be the Penguin. And all of a sudden, it's like, Riddler. I'm like, I don't know what he said. So like, what does he <laughs> said? I went back a few times, and I was like, I don't know what he's saying. That's so funny. I'm glad you. I'm glad to hear that because I went back a few times as well, and I could not understand what was going on. I finally gave up. I was like, I, I don't think I'm ever gonna know what he said. Yeah, and then, I mean, it took me out of the trailer. Like it took, it was so distracting. <laughs> and then, like, like if I saw some reactions, and it's like people's faces they change when that scene happens because it throws them off. And then they just like continue going. It takes you out of it. And that was just that was poor placement in the trailer, I would say. But besides that, the trailer looks pretty good. I mean, I guess uh, I think it was I good feel, as the first one. It's not as good as the first one. Um they made, I guess, Batman unkillable. 
now. Why do you say that? Well, I mean, they shot him point blank with machine guns. Oh, yeah, yeah. He just took it. I know some of Batman suits can do that, but this is like year two Batman. Like, I, I didn't Honestly, know this. I, I saw that it. and I was like, okay, probably fair enough because Batman and year two was probably more concerned with. Like, Batman probably, even though Batman's a great martial artist, he's probably like, oh, crap. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know what I'm God. entirely doing yet. So he probably has a more protective suit, but... Well, it's like, year one, year two, like, the beginning years of Batman, he, there's a common theme for him. He's always over-violent. He always brutalizes more because he's just learning how to be Batman. But, like, his suits usually aren't that like developed at this point i think yeah, actually fair enough. i don't think it's like oh he's wearing more protection because he's fresh in the bat suit no i think he shouldn't even have suits that are even that developed yet i don't think you think it should be like the um the gosh the old show where he's just wearing like cloth oh yeah oh, oh yeah for sure yeah for sure no i think it's like like even even the Christian Bale Batman wasn't bulletproof, kind of you know. Yeah, for sure. I see what you mean. It's um, like he just comes in there, gets shot, however he wants. Like this is Batman. He's not a guy that just goes through and gets shot up. I thought this was Batman it was going to be more of an investigator. He seems like he's more of a, just a brute. Less yeah, I was very disappointed in that because I was very I was expecting in the second trailer to see him versus the Riddler. And we really didn't see that. And I was like, oh my gosh. And the ping one just reminded me of Falcone. Um you know what I'm talking about, that one yeah. Rock? Hey, calm down, big guy. He said. Yeah, that's that's what he reminded me of. He did not seem like the pink one in my opinion. Um I don't know. I mean, it's... I I like Catwoman, at least, because she's like how Catwoman is in the beginning, you know. Yeah, I wish Catwoman had hair for most of it, like longer hair. I don't know. That's just the weird thing I'm bringing up. Yeah, I mean, she doesn't usually have like long hair like that at this point. Like in that, um, fair enough. In the animated movie for the year one comic, she did. She was like that, pretty much exactly like that, where she didn't really have long hair and she was just like, um, doing what she was doing to surviving, you know. Yeah, which I mean, I don't know, I don't know I how still... I feel about the actress that plays her because I haven't really seen much by her, but. I think we'll find she, out. she's a good actor. Who is it? Uh, I don't remember her exact name, but I've seen her in a bunch of stuff. She was, she was actually in First Class. Uh, as what was her name? Isn't she married to Jason Momoa? Is she? I have no yeah, idea. Yeah, I think so. But in any case, I feel like the movie. I still have high hopes for the movie. I just need to see, like, a third trailer or something, you know? I agree. Because this was... It made Batman look not Batman, like, I'm going to say. Because I know we we're going to get, like, a different version of him or an investigative, because, of course, he has to be, because his opponent is the Riddler. But yeah. are they making it so the Riddler is smarter than him? And he's always behind. It seems that way because I don't know. It makes it seem like um, it's going to help him develop that detective side. He's going to transition from more of like a brute to more of like a detective. I mean, if they do it that way, then yeah, I'm I'm with it. But like, it just seems like he's a guy that's relying on his bulletproof armor. Yeah, honestly, I'm less hyped for the Batman after this trailer. As bad as it sounds, like. 
I know the general consensus is like everybody's like, oh my gosh, I'm so hyped now, like. But I'm just kind of like, eh, like. I also I really need to understand. Go both ways. Yeah, I, I, I completely agree. I, I think I also need to see how he's already, chilling with Gordon, you know, he's being mm-hmm. left into police, uh, crime scenes, you know, it's kind of like I need to understand why that's happening. Yeah, it, I feel like it's gonna. It seems like it needs to be a long movie, but I don't know what the runtime is. And they need to work on his voice or something in post. I don't know. This is, you know, how everyone memes. Um, Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. And, yeah. Uh, so, we are now. This just dead. reminds me of like an alcoholic Batman. Yeah. It, it's just kind of like, it's even worse than that. I've seen memes about it. Tons of memes already. And it's just kind of like, yeah, no one knows what he was saying. It's just bad. Watch it be on like Google's North Search. What was Batman saying when he was punching the glass? <laughs> we do it. Let me look that up right now. We're doing this right now. I want to know what he says before we end this. We are doing this. What does Batman say when? He punches the glass. Okay, so what does Rob Robert Pass then the Pattinson say in the Batman trailer? Let's see, here we go. What have you done? Is it? What have you done? Yeah, I think so. It says, um, this moment is shot over the Riddler's shoulder, and since Batman is on the other side of the glass, he punches and he yells. It's hard to hear exactly what he says. Is is the glass? Like, it's supposed to be that way? I have no clue. Fortunately, since the Batman is the kind of movie that will be studied and analyzed by fans before release... People quickly figured out what the angry, what he angrily asked the Riddler. What have you done? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> <laughs> he could have said your mom and I would not have known. Like, <laughs> golly. So I guess maybe, hopefully, they did that stylistically because he's on the other side of the glass. Otherwise, I don't know, man. I still I have no clue. I'm still on the positive side where I want to see this movie. And I think I think it'll be good. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Um I'm still on the positive side. It's just it's kind of gonna... too funny to not ignore. I'm gonna want to see another trailer. Like that's just how I am. Because I feel like like, this could be a Titanic long movie, and I still think we wouldn't get enough, you know? Yeah. What's the... Um, do we know the uh, date it's coming out? Oh, it's coming out relatively soon. Um, I think. Um, let me look it up. Uh, March 4th, 2022. So not relatively, but like, you know, soon-ish. Less, less than a year. Yeah. Less than half um, a year. Or is it more than half a year? It's more than half a year. But, but yeah. honestly, I don't... I don't know. There's been a lot of, like, spec... Or, like, a lot of rumors behind this. So, like, I heard Robert Pattinson was not doing his part. Like, working out wise and stuff like that that's why the movie got delayed initially um but he he seemed like he was in decent shape like there's a shot of his back and like he looked like he was in all right shape you know what i mean he is more of a skinnier person 
though, I would say. But, uh, yeah, overall. I mean, um, Batman's usually like a thicker guy, you know? But this is more, like, if he is going to be that more investigative type, I'm fine with him being skinnier and more, like, dependent on his own uh, skills, you know? I totally agree. I think it would be cool. Especially if we have... Maybe he finds a Robin. Which, honestly, I think they should go with Tim Drake. You want him to go with Tim Drake, like, in the first thing? I know Tim Drake is the investigator in Robin. But I feel like if they're going to do it, I don't think they should skip ahead. You know what I mean? That's true. That's fair enough. Um, Yeah, I don't know. But Plus, um, I feel like if Tim Drake is the Robin, he's gonna be smarter than this Batman. <laughs> Fair you enough. Know? Fair. Um. Yeah, we'll just have to find out. I don't know yet. Yeah. Well, um, I think that covers it for today. It does cover it. DC fandom. This is the second DC fandom episode. I know that's exciting. Um, I already bought merch for DC yeah. fandom and stuff. But um, tell us what you're most excited for. Um, maybe what you were most disappointed with as well, because um, I know probably the most disappointing thing was not in inju- or not getting an Injustice three announcement. But um, maybe it was the Superman thing for you as well. But I don't know. Um, I think this was fun and we had good conversations. If you yeah. liked maybe what you heard, um, if you like watching another video, which um, we got a lot of those, we do. Like, um, I'm trying to think of a good one to recommend. I don't know. Just watch another video that seems kind of interesting. Maybe one of our newer things because I don't know. Maybe just do whatever you want. Just do whatever you want. Um. All right. Well, see you guys next week. See you guys next time.